This video is specifically designed for evaluating mission outcomes and scores. It is not to be used to set up the field. For the official field setup, please refer to the field setup guide or video. The Climate Action Challenge is a physical robotics competition. The teams bring their own robot designed and built with Corky to complete various interactive challenges. Track 2 of Codeva 6.2 International helps participants develop 21st century skills like coding, robotics concepts, engineering skills, artificial intelligence, strategy planning, and real-world problem solving. In the Climate Action Challenge, your robot will develop, repair, and manage the ecosystem of Harburton. There are eight challenges, and they can be attempted in any order. You will be scored on all the challenges that your team attempts in a round. The challenges can be attempted either in autonomous or manual mode. Your team can double the score for the same challenge if attempted autonomously. Equipment Inspection Your robot size in its contracted configuration must not exceed 20 by 20 by 20 cm and weigh no more than a maximum of 2 kg. Your robot must be a battery operated at the time of competition and voltage must not exceed 5 volts between any terminals of the robot. Start Position at the beginning of the round, your robot must be completely inside the start area. Challenge 1. Protecting the forest The forest near Harburton is on fire. If trees are lost to disasters, it will be impossible to stop global warming. Your task is to use your robot to unplug the charging dock from the firefighting robot at the nearest fire safety robot launch pad to stop the wildfire in the forest. If the robot is no longer touching the fire safety robot launch pad and charging dock cube is inside the drop point marked with the green outline, you will get full score. If the robot is no longer touching the fire safety robot launch pad and the charging dock cube is partially outside the drop point, you will get half score. Challenge 2. Making Roof Gardens Harburton will benefit by adopting green roofs in their industry-ridden areas. Your task is to construct a roof garden with your robot on top of the building. If the cube is fully in the drop point on the building, you will get full score. If the cube is partially outside of the drop point on the building, you will get half score. Challenge 3. Repurposing Tires Repurposing tires provides a potent way to deal with hazardous tire waste more efficiently. Your task is to use your robot to move the used tire cube from the tire service to the eco park to repurpose them to create play equipment for the kids. If the used tire's cube is fully in the drop point in the playground, you will get full score. If the used tire's cube is partially out of the drop point in the playground, you will get half score. Challenge 4. Reusing Battery Renewable energy plants can utilize repurposed batteries to store the generated power. Your task is to use your robot to transport the used EV battery from the motor garage to the wind farm and replace the expired battery at the substation. If the used battery cube is fully in the drop point in the substation and the cube inside is pushed out and is not crossing the white line marked on the arena, you will get full score. If the used EV battery cube is partially out of the drop point in the substation or the cube inside is pushed out too much and is crossing the white line, you will get half score. Challenge 5. Recycling Battery Using AI and ML The increasing number of electronic devices has led to a surge in battery waste. To address this in Harburton, your robot has to collect, sort and deliver the used batteries to their respective recycling plant. Before the round, the judge will randomly select the expired wet battery cube or expired dry battery cube and place it under the substation that is the pickup point. For elementary teams, the judge will randomly select a waste bin 1 or waste bin 2 cube and place it at the pickup point. On completion of challenge 4, the respective cube will be pushed out of the wind power substation by your team's robot. Your task is to use your robot to collect the cube from the wind farm substation. Take it to the camera point and identify its type, whether it is an expired wet battery or an expired dry battery or waste bin 1 or waste bin 2 and deliver it to the respective wet or dry battery recycling plant. If the respective cube is fully in the respective drop point, you will get full score. 
If the respective cube is partially out of the respective drop point, you will get half score. If the cube is placed at the incorrect drop point, you will get no score. Challenge 6. Enhancing Solar Cell Efficiency Help Harburton harvest more energy by automating the sun tracking of the solar panels. Your task is to adjust the angle of the solar panel to the west of the arena to follow the sun and enhance solar cell efficiency to boost power production. If the pointer of the panel mount passes the pointer of the panel legs of the solar panel, you will get full score. In case the pointers on both parts are exactly pointing to each other, you will get half score. Challenge 7. Constructing Coastal Barriers Harburton plans to lay eco-friendly sediment bags to help safeguard the coastal ecosystems as they help curb global warming. Your task is to use your robot to lay coastal barriers of eco-friendly sediment bags. If all three coastal barrier bags are down, you will get full score. If any coastal barrier bag is not down till the end of the round, you will get half score. Challenge 8. Safeguarding Aquatic Life Harburton calls upon your skills to perform deep cleanups in the sea for them to efficiently contribute as carbon sinks. Your task is to deploy your robot to clean up the sea by collecting plastic waste and bringing it to the pier. If your robot can get the plastic waste cube to the pier's green zone, you will be rewarded with full score. If your robot can get the plastic waste cube to the pier's yellow zones, you will be rewarded with half score. If any plastic waste cube is partially in the yellow zone and partially in the green zone, it is also half score. Note, judgment will be based on the cube faces only. The hook on the plastic waste cube will be ignored while judging. Participants are required to complete as many challenges as possible within the time limit. The timer will not be paused once the game starts. An unfinished task will not be awarded points once the time expires. Fouls The team will lose 5 points on each foul. When a challenge is attempted in manual mode. In manual mode, team can access their connected device but not the robot itself. If a team member touches the robot, it will be resulted in a foul. Case 1 At any instance, if the team wants to touch the robot, the team must prompt the judge for the save and one foul will be called. The team must place the robot back to the last junction that it has crossed in the arena. In the case, robot is in the contact with quirky cube or small cube or unique mechanism or objects, the cube has to be given to the judge or the volunteer to be kept outside the arena. The unique mechanisms must not be touched by the team. This attempt at the challenge will not be scored. The team can further exercise the restore card if available at any point in the time to re-attempt this challenge and the judge or volunteer will restore the game objects. Case 2. If the robot leaves the track completely, one foul will be called. The robot must be moved back to the last junction that it crossed on the arena when a challenge is attempted in autonomous mode. In case of a foul in autonomous mode, the team has to reset their robot at below given robot repositioning points. In autonomous mode, touching either a robot or the controlling device will result in a foul. Case 1. If the team wants to touch the robot or the connected device, the team must prompt the judge for the same. One foul will be called. Team must move the robot by hand to the robot repositioning point nearest to the drop point of the previously attempted challenge. Execute the code to either re-attempt this challenge or another one. In case the quirky cube or small cube of the challenge are held by the robot, the cube has to be given to the judge or the volunteer to be kept outside the arena. The unique mechanisms or objects must not be touched by the team. This attempt at the challenge will not be scored. The team can further exercise the restore card if available at any point of time to re-attempt this challenge and the judge or volunteer will restore the game objects. Case 2. If the robot leaves the track completely, one foul will be called. Team must move the robot by hand to the robot repositioning point nearest to the drop point of the previously attempted challenge. Additional foul will not be counted for hand touch. Execute the code to either re-attempt this challenge or another one. If the robot has just started from the start or reset point and it has deviated before attempting any challenge, the robot needs to be repositioned at the respective point from which it has started. Additional foul will not be counted for hand touch. Execute the code to either re-attempt this challenge or another one. If a team member touches the robot or game objects without prompting the judge, one foul will be called. 
the challenge will not be scored. The judge will end the round. Foul shield cards and restore cards that are returned unused at the end of the game will gain an extra 5 bonus points each. Make sure to submit photos, videos and detailed information about the robot on the Codevo 6.0 submission portal as per the participation and submission guidelines. Non-adherence to them will result in team disqualification. Remember to read the robot game rule and check for any updates during the season. Good luck!